Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making pizza pretzels. Last video, I made pizza bagels and they turned out amazing. So today I'm tackling pizza pretzels. They used to be everywhere when I was a kid. I don't know like what happened to them because I haven't seen them in years. So I'm gonna be making them to the best of my memory. We're also gonna be using the same dough recipe as the pizza bagels. So thanks again to Little Market Kitchen for your amazing dough recipe. We're gonna be using that again. The recipe will be linked in the description if you want to make these yourself. Okay, into a large bowl, add four teaspoons of yeast or two packets. Then you're going to add half a cup of flour and then you're going to add half a cup of warm water and then stir that all together until it's nice and combined and then you're gonna let that rest for 15 minutes. While that's resting, we're gonna work on the rest of the dry ingredients. So into a bowl, add three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and then a tablespoon of sugar. And we're just gonna stir that around until it's all combined. Once 15 minutes is up, to your yeast mixture, you're going to add a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, then one cup of warm water, and then you're going to add all your dry ingredients and then just stir it all together. It's a little bit tricky to stir together, so you might have to use your hands. But once you have a mass of dough, you're gonna start kneading it for 10 minutes. Once you have your bowl of dough, you're gonna place that into a greased bowl and you're gonna let it rest for one to two hours until it's doubled in size. Once your dough has doubled in size, dump it out onto a chopping board and we're going to cut it into six equal pieces. This is where things differ from the pizza bagels. You're gonna take one of your dough pieces and you're gonna start rolling it into like a log shape. You're gonna start in the middle and as you roll, you're gonna move your hands towards the outside of the board. And you're gonna keep on doing this like multiple times until your dough starts to thin out. While you're rolling out your dough, you wanna be even with it. You wanna make sure all the dough is the same thickness. You don't wanna have thicker parts and thinner parts. You wanna have it roughly the same thickness. And so you're gonna to need to get this about 36 inches. So as you can see, it's doubled up on my chopping board, which is 18 inches long. If you wanna make smaller ones, you can, but this is a size that they were in the stores where I would buy them from. If you're having a hard time getting your dough to get to the right length, you can also grab both ends and kind of stretch it out and wobble the dough. Once your dough is at the correct length, now it's time to make them into the pretzel shape. So take both ends of the dough and kind of bring them into the center of the dough and then you're gonna twist them together and there you go, you have your pretzel shape. There's probably multiple ways you can do this, but that's just how I did it. You know, do whatever works for you and kind of make them however you like the look of them, really. Like whatever kind of pretzel shape you want is all good, you know? As long as it looks like an eight or an infinity sign or something like that, it's close enough. Because these were so large, I was only able to fit four on my baking sheet, so I had to do two batches. Now it's time to decorate your pizza pretzels. This is a very important step. So you're gonna get some marinara sauce, and then you're just gonna brush it all over your pizza pretzel. You wanna go heavy with the sauce because these can dry out and the sauce can dry out really quickly because we're cooking it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll look like you've put too much on, but once you take them out of the oven, you'll look at them and be like, yeah, I probably could have put more. Next, it's time to sprinkle on some poppy seeds. For some reason, these always had poppy seeds on them. I don't know why, but make sure you add them too if you wanna be as authentic as possible. Next is time to place some cheese on. These always had significantly less cheese than the pizza bagels. So if you wanna be authentic to that, just sprinkle like a bit of cheese around them. But if you wanna like just go crazy with the cheese, go for it too. You can make these as cheesy or as non-cheesy as you like. Mine were kind of somewhere in the middle. The grated cheese I was using, cause I'm using plant-based cheese, was actually really long so for the other two pizza bagels, I actually chopped up the cheese into smaller pieces to see if it would be easier to place on the pizza bagels. And there wasn't really that much difference. Like it did go on, maybe it was easier to sprinkle on, but then they could also fall off easier too. Like, so the only difference was that there was more crispy cheese around the edges of the pizza bagels where I didn't slice up the cheese. So if you're someone who likes crispy bits of cheese, then just keep your shredded cheese long. I guess if that's something you're able to do. <laughs> There's just so much customization you can do with these, the possibilities are endless. Baking these is a little bit different than baking pizza bagels. You're still gonna cook them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, except you're gonna cook them 15 minutes in the middle of your oven, uncovered. Then you're gonna move them up, so maybe they're three quarters of the way up, and then you're gonna cook them for another five to six minutes covered with foil. 
because you don't want the pizza bagels to dry out. They are so easy to dry out and get crispy on the top. You don't want it. You want the dough on the top just to be cooked. The first time I made these, I made that mistake and I cooked them uncovered for 20 minutes and the tops really dried out and were all crunchy and that's just not what you want. That's like gonna ruin them because you don't have that nice chewy texture. Everybody's oven's a little bit different so you may have to kind of test one out to see what works best for you. And then it's time to enjoy them. These are really nice as well, straight out of the oven. Of course, cause like what baked good isn't good straight out of the oven. You know, these are really good too. You know, I'm enjoying my pizza bagel, pizza pretzel. I'm gonna have to just keep on going and make other random pizza shapes, you know? They used to make these things that were like a roll that had like cheese sprinkled on the top and through the middle of it, there was a stick of pepperoni. I should try to make some of those. I've never eaten one of those before because like as a kid, I never ate meat. So I still don't eat meat now, but you know, there's fake pepperoni. I could make some fake pepperoni and try that, but I might give that a go for the next video in the series. Just keep on going and make all the weird pizza bakery items that used to be able to get in Canadian bakeries at grocery stores. I'll see if I can find a picture so that way you can know what I'm talking about because I don't think I did a very good job of explaining it. Anyways, it's, it's this. This is what I'm gonna make. If you wanna see me make that, subscribe so you don't miss my next video. But in typical fashion, just like with the pizza bagels, I'm going to try one of them cold, just like when you buy them from the grocery store. So let's give it a try. Mm. I always remember the middle twisted bit being the best part because it stayed the moistest and always had like more cheese and more sauce on it. So it was like the best part. So if you were sharing one of these with your siblings, you'd wanna make sure you cut it in a way so you got the middle bit. I don't know, but there's something about like dry marinara sauce on dough. That's just so nostalgic for me. Like these, the flavor of that, I just love it. There's probably some Italian like crying right now going like, what have you done, you know? But I see these and I just like, oh yeah, this is great. You know, I love this kind of thing. <laughs> When I was younger, I definitely had the pizza pretzel more than the pizza bagel. I think I just liked the shape of it and it was just kind of like a fun thing to have, you know, this massive thing of dough, especially when you're younger too, because everything seems bigger. You're like, it's the size of my head. Look at this, it's massive, you know, it's so much fun. But you know, even, even so, it's still, still pretty good, still enjoyable experience now. This one's two days old and it's still really nice and chewy and soft. Also, if you live somewhere where you can still get these, comment down below. I wanna know, like, do they still make these in different places? Anyways, these are amazing. 10 out of 10 again. Definitely worth making. So give them a try. I also made the pizza bagels again, and I think they turned out even better than the ones in my last video. Like, this time I really focused on, like, stretching out to make the hole in the bagel even bigger, and I flattened them down way more. So that way there's more surface area for sauce and cheese and they just turned out amazing. They were so good. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out my other video on how to make pizza bagels if you haven't already.